what did you have you got a valentine's day card I don't have Valentine's Day card, but guys, if you go back and you listen to my last year's Valentine's Day episode, you'll see I wrote a card for Gingerbin and I read my card out on the episode. And it was probably the most romantic, so beautiful. And the funniest thing is, I recently got a message from someone just like I think a week ago saying, can you remind me what episode that was? Because I can't like get that card out of my head and I want to write it to my boyfriend. It's mad. I, someone messaged me saying... I've taken your Valentine's Day card and it's my wedding bows. They use my Valentine's Day card as their wedding bows. Wow. Like, that's, like, so Amazing. flattering, though. Yeah, but you are such a great writer that you just waste your talent. Do you know what it is, there, though, Anna? Like, now, I don't feel like I feel how I felt last year now, which is really upsetting. Hmm. You know, I felt this feeling like I could write it because it just came from my heart, just outpour of romance and love. I just don't know if I feel like that now. Like, I love him more. I love him way more. But the romance. I'm just a bit more pessimistic and cynical about the whole relationship. And obviously now it's more pressure. The longer you're with someone, the more pressure it is. And I'm just unsure about the stability of the relationship. So because of these things, I can't write an overly romantic card, but I'm still going to write something. I'm just going to be yeah. true to myself. Did he get you a Valentine's Day card? Anna, his Valentine's Day card to me last year, yeah, was yeah. because I was like, you better write me a Valentine's Day card. And it was awful. It was, what was it? It was too mandy. I love um I love you more every day. I can't wait to make more memories of you. Oh wow. Wow. It's like a friend. I can't wait to make more memories of you. I'd write that to someone I've just met. At least you got a Valentine's Day card. I don't think I even got one. Yeah. I genuinely don't think I even got one. I don't remember getting one. I also, think I I know that Gingerbeard and Cowslick got last minute flowers for us last year. Really? Why? I think you I think that was the year before when they both came at the same time with them. I don't know. All I know is like he said, it costed me a fortune the flowers last time. Yeah? yeah. And I was like, buy them in advance for me. I have to teach my boyfriend, buy my flowers, order them in advance for me. Yeah. Because last year I got like roses, but it's like pink, white. Like, <laughs> I want red. I want just all red. Wait, I want red roses. Like, why is that so hard? Right? But you know, if you leave it the day before Valentine's Day, yeah, you know, oh. there's no red roses. No way. There's none. And I bet you anything, Kazakh's not organized it. I said it to Gingerbread, yeah, from a week ago, two weeks ago. Order I'm my pre-order me too. I want red roses. I'm going to send a voice note. I want gingerbread. If you don't pre-order my bouquet of red roses for Valentine's Day, I swear to God, this year we're over. Because I've... last year, you left it last minute. There was no red roses left. You spent like fucking £300 on some white, pink and yellow red roses. Am I your mum? I'm not your mum, babe. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not your grandparent. I want red roses. I want, I want to fuck you roses. Okay, wow. I mean, I just messaged saying I want a bunch of red roses on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Pre-order it now. <laughs> oh. This is like what happens when you're in this kind of relationship and it's been so long. Anyway, so are you, you getting him a card? Are you getting so Kelsey a card? I wasn't going to get one because I'm so sick of being the one that gets cards and I don't get one. So then I was thinking like, I'm just not even going to get one. Another part of me thinks I might get one, keep it aside in secret. And like, if he... If he gets me one, I'll give it to Anna, him. You're just being levels to pity. Petty, sorry. Why? Petty. You're so petty. If he gives me one, I'll be like, oh, I got you one. Yeah, if he doesn't a... give me one, I ain't going to give you it. You know what? Yeah, that that mentality, you, well, it says online, like psychologists say that that mentality, tip for tap kind of mentality, is like a relationship doomed, like a marriage should never succeed. Really? Yeah. So you think the relationships will be successful if I hand him a Valentine's Day get card for the third year in a row without him giving me one? I just know. I think, though, you should always don't lose your true self and your true character. I wouldn't go all out and get some fucking, like, collage picture and write an essay. But I would get a Valentine's Day card. But I'd do, like, the basic bare minimum. Just be like, this is the right way of doing things. I'm setting the standard. No, I've done that. For two years in a row, I'm not doing that. I know he's going to get your Valentine's Day this, car, this year, know? though. I just know. If he doesn't... I've no, already I made a know. big thing out of it. I, I already, know he's I already to. had a girl. I was like, you didn't get me one for the last two years, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but has he got yeah. you gifts? Uh, I think he did on one of the years. I don't know. You know, I didn't get Gingerbeard a birthday card for his 30th. Is that really bad? I think birthday cards aren't as much of a big deal. That's I what I think. Because what are you going to write? Happy birthday, happy born I, day. I don't care for birthday cards. But Valentine's Day cards are a thing, isn't it? That's how Valentine's Day started, no? Yeah, because Valentine's Day is like a declaration of your love. Like, yeah. even if you're not with someone or you kind of fancy someone, that's your moment. Like, yeah. for me, I don't spend every day of the year telling Gingerbeard, 
when I look into your eyes, I feel like amazing emotions. So Valentine's Day is my day to do that. Yeah, but a lot of people say that you should, you, you should treat every day like Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's just strange. I wouldn't want to be around that couple.